Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I have a few things to mention, I also want to apologize and I have one of the best gameplays in the game in my opinion. Um, so I would say let's just begin with the apology because yesterday and the day, uh, like the day before, I wasn't able to record. I did try to record but I returned from America with jet lag, I was not feeling well at all so I wasn't able to record. As I said, I did try to record but today I still might look really bad guys, hopefully you guys don't mind, hopefully uh, it's not too big of a problem but I do want to make content for you guys so i do want to record today and upload um second of all many of you guys like uh, many questions actually because in the live event you guys might see that on the overlay you might you guys might have read it like on twitter for example or instagram i posted actually twitter with them but i transferred from team Kesso to team liquid so we actually had a live event in texas i was representing team liquid we actually won with ace and azilis my teammates we actually won the like the team event three vs three king of the hill so i'm really excited about like the future together and i'm really happy like for such a good start i think that shows how um yeah good of a future we can have together so i'm really excited for that that's also why i made the decision because i think i have like a great future here and i can learn a lot of new things so hopefully you guys understand that as well and hopefully you guys um yeah respect it as well i'm sorry if you don't i'm sorry if i disappointed you but i personally think this is a good step and actually a huge step because team liquid if you guys don't know team liquid they have been in esports for 15 years already and they're a huge organization and super super professional and definitely promising um I also want to mention because like the 20 win started when I was actually traveling when I was in the plane to Texas so I wasn't able to uh, I was able to play it but I wasn't able to make any content on it so the first try I actually completed it with log paid so I actually tweeted that as well I made a video like showing my battle log on Twitter and the second um, second try I actually did it twice so I will show my battle log real quick I the uh, GC log I mean so as you guys can see 12 win then 20 win with the log paid and then the last day I think the last day it was or maybe one day and a little bit I'm sorry, one day in a little bit, I was actually able to complete it again, but with a really strange deck, guys, as you guys can see, a 2.3 average elixir cost, and why to make a video now when the challenge is already over, because I think the gameplay, you guys can learn so much from it, Clash with Ash actually tweeted a YouTuber, if you guys don't know who that is, probably most of you guys know it, uh, know him, I mean, but if you guys don't know who Clash with Ash is, I will link his um, channel in the description, he also made a video on this, but he actually tweets out bounties sometimes, he actually did this a couple of times, and I actually, like, went on Twitter after my match and i saw him just tweeted like 15 minutes ago like he tweeted the bounties out so for example one of, one of them was get 20 wins with um with heal and rage for example or i don't know like some of meta cards mirror or whatever and one of them was actually um 2.3 average elixir cost or less so i know that i'm really like i really love uh, quick cycle decks and i really like them as well i think i'm really good at them so at first i tried to make an ice wizard deck but it wasn't really possible i ended up uh, like the deck ended up being like 2.4 elixir so not quite so i actually made this deck which is 2.3 average elixir cost and it cycles super quick it has three spells tornado lock and poison so really good against the current meta the current meta his lock bait you'll see uh three musketeers and then the defense is actually really good you have ice column to kite and bats actually cycle so quick to bats so let's say they use their um their zap you can actually cycle to bats of course you have some impossible matchups but actually i completed the challenge going 20-0 so i didn't lose a single match and today i want to share some gameplay with you guys why i'm sharing the gameplay because the challenge is already ended as i said i think this is one of the best gameplay in the game and you guys can learn a lot from it like mechanically wise i will go over my thoughts like while playing my thoughts and also you guys can learn from from it for example with tornadoes because i don't want to brag about it but i think i'm one of the best in the game with tornado i really try to focus on using the tornado often and as good as possible so i want to help you guys and give some tips as well like while using the tornado so i start with the ice spirit at the bridge so it looks like he actually takes the damage down to two, uh, 2433 he actually start uh, splits his goblin gang in the back i'll go with ice golem in the back and then i will split my bets and I think he will go with a pump. So here with minor poison, I would always do this move. I will send the uh, miner to the tower and then I will poison and the tower and the collector. So he actually sends in a defensive miner. And the bats, I think he will um, actually die to the miner. I'm not sure. Or the miner will actually die to the bats. Looks like they, he barely dies. But I believe now he will die to the, um, the miner. So this is a really uh, key moment, guys. I'll actually pass real quick. So as you guys can see, he splits his musketeers. And with this tornado, you need, you need to be really reactive. So in this case, he actually split his uh, one musketeer into his right or 
our right side lane, his left side lane. So when you see this, you always want to tornado the one musketeer. So the one musketeer like towards the others. So you pull the one musketeer towards the two, and then you will pull all of them in the other lane. Because if you try to pull the two musketeers into the one side musketeer lane, then you won't be able to pull all of them. So as you guys can see, I'm reactive. I see him dropping his musketeers. I tornado all of them like right away. You can also do it like in front of the king tower. But in my opinion, this is the best way to do it. So I actually go with skeletons in the back. I go with a look and I cycle to poison. So here actually supported it with an ice golem i will go with my poison finishing off all of them and he actually goes with a better and main horde in the other lane knowing that i don't have any spells like i just used and my tornado because i pulled all of them in the middle but i actually need to drop just one more card to use the tornado and i use the poison of course to kill the muskies so here i actually go with ice golem i believe and then i will go with my tornado and the ice spirit to um first of all like pull everything together then ice spirit to kill the minions then i will go with skeletons to kill the better M and to kill the barbarians he actually used the zap so we're free to place our bets and perfect defense over there guys so we actually go with the ice golem to support it knowing that he just used his step and we force out his goblin gang so he uses goblin gang knowing that he doesn't have goblin gang i'm kind of trying to uh, keep track of his cycle so right now as you guys can see his hand is elixir collector ice golem three musketeers minor next card better m so here i just decide to send a minor to the tower i actually go with the ice spirit as well i believe he blocks the ice spirit with the ice golem so there you go his ice golem he decides to block the ice spirit with the ice golem but the minor does get like a ton of chip damage as you guys can see bring down the tower to 1276 so he goes with a collector he actually drops it like near the tower where where I already dealt damage, so big mistake on his part, but I don't mind, of course, because I want to take down his tower. Really bad luck over here. Uh, I tried to predict his goblin gang, but his goblin gang wasn't even like in cycle. But I pull out the musketeers in one lane. I go with skeletons, I go with ice spirit. Why drop skeletons first? Because if I would drop ice spirit there, the musketeers would have uh, finished it. But if you guys look closely, like you can rewatch it real quick. But all the three skeletons tanked one time for the three musketeers, so that way the ice spirit was actually able to freeze the better ram inside of the poison. Um, so he calls good game. I just need to send a miner and a poison to finish off the tower. Poison wasn't maybe even needed, but I just decided to poison anyways. I think he will go with one less better than mean horde. There you go, one less better than mean horde. But the same uh, thing as last time. I'll just go with a tornado. I will go with ice spirit. I believe bets for his miner. Uh, and we just used the lock, but they already, already cycled back to lock. As you guys can see, he goes with a goblin game, but we already cycled back to lock. So another tornado, another ice spirit. But as you guys can see, we definitely had the matchup here. But this is just some great gameplay in my opinion, mechanically wise. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Ash um, actually also made a video on this gameplay. But I just wanted to share it myself as well. To, yeah, kind of share my th uh, thought pro process. I'm sorry. So let's actually go with the Golem game. This game is insane, guys. I don't know how I defended this. Like, I rewatched it. And I don't know how I did it. But, like, lots of kiting. Lots of um, Tornado Ice Spirit. So, again, I started with the Ice Spirit at the bridge. Freezing uh, the tower and chipping away a little bit. So he goes with the Elixir Collector right away. And we don't really have anything. Last card is actually the Miner. Really unfortunate. But I will go with the Ice Golem. And I will go... Um, just with a poison on the tower and the elixir collector trying to like bring it down and he actually goes with a golem normally i would not recommend going into the same lane as a golem but because it's one time like one elixir um as you guys can see he barely has any elixir so he needs a tornado and i know that he just used his zap as well or maybe he didn't even have it in cycle i'm not sure um why i went with like minor bets if he had uh zap he would have taken all the minor damage so here he actually goes with a mega minion to support and i will go with really nice skeletons actually pulling the uh, mega minion away from the golem so here i will go with a uh, tornado to pull his I, like his golem onto the king tower i will go with ice spirit trying to freeze both of them i only froze the dark prince unfortunately but it doesn't really matter so he i think he goes with the zap no he holds on to his zap I'll go with another tornado. I cycle back to the tornado. I'll go with an ice golem to kite his prince. His mega min is still alive. I'll go with an ice spirit to pull his prince. And we go with bats. And look at the defense, guys. Of course, we take some damage, but we're still leading with damage. We do take one charge of the prince's one on the right side, which of course hurts. But he's laughing right now. He knows, like, he's like, wow, how did he defend it? And personally, me too. Like, I wasn't sure how I defended that. I rewatched it. Like, re when uh, rewatching now, I, I'm, I'm also not sure, like, how I defended that. But I was able to defend it, guys. So he actually goes with another golem, I believe. Uh, there you go, he goes in with another golem, knowing that I have minor um, poison, I can just chip away at his collector. So here he actually goes with a baby dragon, I've like sent skeletons, just uh, because I know that he doesn't have seven cycle, and we need to force him to drop, for example, the baby dragon in this case, because that way he doesn't, like he has less support units. Um, so he, here I actually go with a lock to cycle, I'll go with my bets, knowing that he doesn't have seven cycle, the bets will get a ton of value, as you guys can see. So bets are still chipping away, he actually goes to the mega main as well, I'll go with a tornado and ice spirit, but the dark prince actually hits the tower, so that's super unfortunate, we take, uh, we take quite a lot of damage. Um... 
I will go with my uh, another tornado. He actually used the Zeppelin. He missed a few uh, few of the bats, but unfortunately the Mega Man actually takes them out. So here the, the prince will actually die to the towers, and we're actually losing on damage right now, guys. So we need to make some moves. He actually goes with a baby dragon, really well played. I will go with my minor defensive, and he actually used his tornado, thinking that I will send my minor, minor to that spot, but I actually switch it up this time. So kind of got lucky there. So he goes with another prince. He's really trying to finish it off right now. He's going aggressive with a prince at the bridge, not really building a push anymore. So I will go with Ice Golem to to um to us uh, to absorb the baby dragon hits i will go with the skeletons to distract the prince i'll go with uh skeletons i'll go with look i'll go with another ice spirit and we actually managed to defend that but look at our elixir guys i'm just at one elixir he was at like uh six elixir so again we need to somehow defend bed actually gets two hits so brings down the tower to 355 i'll go with the look i believe i'll go with bets i'm not sure and then a uh, um ice spirit i think Let's see, yeah, Ice Spirit, and then I will send the Miner actually to the tower, and I think I will go with Ice Golem to tank, um, there you go, Ice Golem to tank, Skeletus to distract, and actually Bats as well, we would have able to defend that push as well, but we actually killed his tower, left side tower, with the Miner, so I'm not sure how I wound it, I'm not sure how I defended that, but we were able to manage, like, to win, and actually our left side tower still had, like, 916 HP left, so it wasn't, like, super, super close or something, and we were able to defend his last push as well. So this was actually the 20 win first 3 Musketeers heal and I don't know like this game is super super close guys while well playing is I thought like okay hopefully I won't like uh, lose like 19-3 because I thought I already lost this game at the end and I was still able to somehow defend like his um, like the pushes at the end I don't know how but he started off with a thumbs up he goes with a collector I was really focused here like I wasn't even like uh, giving him for example thumbs up good luck because I was so focused he's giving the crying face I will send my miner to the tower and I will go with a uh, poison he doesn't drop anything he just goes with the ice spirit while played on his part um, and he has heal spell guys so like it's really tough to defend this and as, as i said i don't know how i defended this but he actually goes with better in the back so this already shows that i know that it's three musketeers like better you don't really have better with golem sometimes you actually do because um like golem three musketeers so i actually go with a look and i will go with a tornado and an ice spirit but here he thought i um like i don't know what why he healed there i think he thought like it would have pulled like that far the means didn't pull that far so he actually says wow so that was a big mistake on his part so we were able to counter his push really well and he actually used the heal spell as well so he still has the elixir advantage but not that big because he just kind of wasted three elixir so here i'm going with ice spirit bats and minor but he has a really good zap so he actually used the zap i thought that he has lock because most of the three musketeer deck with mean horde actually has a lock in their deck because otherwise like he um he doesn't have anything to kill the princess so most of the three musketeer heal decks especially with the better actually has lock so i thought that he would have lock so that's why i made that push but now i know that he has zap so good information for us so here i think i would just go with skeletons i'll go with the ice spirit to freeze it and he actually goes with three musketeers at the bridge so i will go as soon as possible i was, I was kind of panicking King, I was going with um he actually goes with uh, heal spell as well. I was trying to kill the musketeers as soon as possible, but he actually managed to heal spell as well there. But we were able to kill it with bats and skeletons here. I say wow, like uh, while he's actually playing this, but he was actually doing really good with it uh, because of course, like at 19-0 facing this guy, of course he's doing good as well. So he actually goes with another collector, and I think here I make a big mistake. I actually sent my miner to the left side. Um, I think I should have sent the miner to the right side because he actually goes with a main horde and I'm not sure if I go with a poison here um, no I don't think so I'll just go with a tornado knowing that he has heal spell I actually tornadoed already because I don't want him to heal like the minions um, like any further they were already damaged a little bit I believe because of ice column so here he goes with three musketeers two towards the right side I actually go with a um, look and a, and, a, and a poison six elixir he just dropped his heal spell and the musketeers are almost like uh alive again here i have a really good defense guys I actually tornado everything together and then ice golem right into it so the death damage of the ice golem actually kills it but look at the musketeer the musketeer is still alive and actually gets some good amount of chip damage on the right side brings down our right side tower to 1336 and right now we're actually able to deal a lot of damage to his um, left side tower. But again, like he dropped three musketeers at the bridge. And I tried to tornado. I tried to lock. But it's not enough, guys. The heal spell is actually still really strong. And the musketeers are able to stay alive. Look at the elixir, guys. Look at the elixir. He goes with, with another... Um, he goes in with another main horde. And we are forced to tornado his left side. I thought I lost. Like, at this moment, I was 99% sure that I lost. He actually zapped as well. The better room connects. I go with a panic ice golem. Um, he uses zap so we can go with bats. But look at the amount of elixir he has. He goes with another set of three musketeers, guys. He again has heal spell and cycle. I will go with a uh, poison actually hitting his tower as well. 
So here I go with a look. Actually, he didn't use his heal spell. I think if he used his heal spell there, we would have lost. He actually goes with the Ice Spirit. He goes with Ice uh, Better Ram to tank for our Miner. I will go with Ice Spirit. I will go with Bets on the right side. And look at the right side, guys. So he actually... Um, doesn't zap there he didn't do anything i dropped my ice golem thinking that he would zap here i go with tornado i go with um a tornado ice spirit but the better connects i go with my uh bets i go with my skeletons i go with ice golem panic ice golem and we cycle back to lock so the lock will finish off his left side tower so i throw the lock i go with the ice spirit just to be sure at the right side i don't think the better one would have done anything even if it connected but that was actually a good game so wow 20-0 with this crazy deck hopefully you guys could learn something i actually recommend this deck if you guys want to become better with tornado if you guys want to become better like mechanically wise i think this is a deck like a great deck to practice your uh for example tornadoes on musketeers on hawk riders balloon like tornado ice spirit uh but even like i don't think this deck is like you will lose instantly for la first lava loon but you can try to cycle like tornadoes and see the best way to how to defend that or how to kite units etc etc so i think this is a great deck hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay i actually have many ideas for my future episodes i actually have one of them i'm not sure if you guys would enjoy that but one of them is this super magical chest super magical chest challenge so i will open this super magical chest and then the cards i will receive i will play for example in a grand challenge also 12 win grand challenge deck uh, i already prepared it like i'm at nine wins so i definitely prepared it guys even though i wasn't feeling uh, good at all and I was really tired. As I said, I still might look really tired. But I was preparing many videos for you guys. And I'm really excited and happy to make content again. Uh, content again. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to smack that like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye, guys.